Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. Happy Monday, everybody. We are about to get our week started. So I woke up this morning, got ready. It's currently like nine in the morning um, and Dion's working out. He's gonna get ready. As you can tell by the title, today I am going to be treating myself. That means that we are going to be having some non-keto foods today. I haven't put non-keto foods in my body in a while. It's been a good minute. I have been trying to hit my goal weight. I have been pushing, working out, doing all these things, doing challenges with y'all. It's I honestly can't even remember the last time I've had non-keto foods. It's been that long. And I'm very proud of myself, but I've made so much progress and I'm human just like y'all guys. I get cravings all the time. Don't get, mostly like homemade food. Like when I'm around family, I crave certain things or I have my days guys. I'm, I'm human just like y'all. And I had an overwhelming amount of support. If y'all saw my post that I posted, I think about a week ago, I asked everybody, how would y'all feel if I showed y'all if I, what I have for a non-keto meal or like, this is not going to be an all the time thing. It's only going to be once a month. I'm going to be treating myself once a month. But I had so much support from y'all saying that I should, that y'all wanna see what I'm going to eat. Y'all wanna feel close to me like that. Like I wanna show y'all that this is a lifestyle. This is, I'm going to be keto, low carb forever. That's just this is what I choose to. And I'm going to have some non-keto foods every once in a while if this is going to be a lifestyle. So I think a treat yourself day once a month will be awesome for me. Um, I'm excited for it. I look forward to it. And I don't feel guilty, especially when it's planned out. I definitely recommend planning ahead of time. It just, it doesn't make you feel guilty. And, and like, if you just go in there and binge on something really fast, then you feel guilty. But when you know it's coming up, you know it's planned, you know what you wanna have, you feel less guilty. So I'm excited. Um, I'm going to be having some sushi today. I haven't had sushi in forever. So currently Dion's working out. They don't open till 11 though, not till lunch time. It's only nine in the morning. So we're gonna be going for lunch. And I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I haven't had sushi in so long. And immediately I was like, sushi. Like I just love sushi. But I don't recommend for somebody to do this if you have not been keto for a long period of time, guys. So I've been doing keto for almost three years this November. I am always sticking to keto. I know how to control myself. Um, if you're not somebody that knows how to control your eating or if, like, if you have a treat meal and you know that you're gonna binge after, you're not gonna get right back on keto. I don't recommend to do it. I recommend that you have to wait a certain period of time, at least a couple months into your keto lifestyle and try to have that self-control because if not, it could be bad, right? You, you're gonna get off keto, you're gonna start eating bad foods again because you know sometimes it's hard for people once they have those um, carb meals and then they wanna keep binging afterwards. So you really have to have some self-control I know how to control that. I could definitely have my treat meal and get right back on keto after. Like I've been doing it for a while and I'm, I'm good in that department. But I'm excited to take y'all along this day and show y'all what I'm going to be having. Don't judge me because I can go all out with some sushi. <laughs> Don't judge me, but it's going to be fun. So currently nine in the morning. We're gonna wait till around 11 o'clock. We are actually having a tropical storm here in Texas if you didn't know. It is like off and on raining right now, but the tropical storm is not supposed to happen till tomorrow. Thankfully, I have my treat myself day to day. So it's not so bad. It's not even raining right now. It was raining earlier. The kids are in school. Um, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. I'm, I'm nervous. I get nervous, especially when my husband's not here. I'm like, oh, I hate it. I hate it. But right now, before we go out and have my treat meal, I'm going to just have some regular iced coffee the way I make it all the time with keto. Okay, I got this cute Starbucks cup for Halloween vibes the other day. It's just like a matte black. I know they had a studded one, but they didn't have it when I went because y'all go crazy for these cups. I don't. I honestly, like, I really don't get the hype on them. I only like certain ones, and I just love the iced coffee cups because I always drink iced coffee, but I thought this was so cute, especially for Halloween. But okay, we have some unsweetened iced coffee right here. I think this is the stock 
one, the Star, is it Stockholms or something like that? Usually I get the blonde rose from the, the Starbucks one, but they were out. So I went ahead and get this one. Just make sure your iced coffee is unsweetened on keto. So I went ahead and put some ice, put that in there. For my creamer, I have the non-dairy. I'm still doing non-dairy creamers. I'm trying to keep dairy as low as possible still, of course after my dairy free challenge because it really helped me a lot and I don't want to just binge on dairy again so I keep my creamer non-dairy this is the nut pods vanilla the french vanilla I got this you can get it from HEB or Walmart and they also do have like a regular flavor as well we're gonna go over here I'm almost done with this I need to get another one this is my all-time favorite Jordan skinny syrup this is the salted dark chocolate espresso and it's so so good I'm already gonna finish it oh no <laughs> I definitely need to get another one we're gonna go in with that and this is all I put into my iced coffee we're gonna go ahead and give this a good stir I'm gonna be sipping on this I need to get a few things done this morning like I gotta put up all my dishes in my dishwasher I put a load to wash before we head out just get some little things done Okay, so I was doing what I have to do. Dion's getting ready, but while he's getting ready, I got a package at the door. I just wanted to show you what my husband had ordered me. And I forgot to mention, so I'm going to have my treat myself meal, but I'm also allowing myself to have, I don't know if I want like a dessert slash treat at the end of the day. Um, just something, I don't know what I have planned yet. Like I have some ideas and what I want I am a big ice cream fanatic but I kind of try to take it slow with sugar because the carbs sometimes you know they make you feel tired carbs they make me feel tired at times depending what I have I feel like fried foods make me feel really tired but like sushi it's the meat and the rice it's not so bad it does make me feel a little tired but not as bad as like something fried now with sugar that's a whole totally different game with me um sugar makes me feel basically you have like a sugar high right so I have to take it real slow with sugar if I do have that um I don't know what I'm going to have yet I have been craving popcorn <laughs> like really bad I know that's like the most randomest snack but the way I eat my popcorn I've been wanting popcorn with Valentina and some lemon my mouth's already watering so honestly I might treat myself to that later depending on I have to let that food settle because I know I'm be full but depending, we will see. I honestly might because I've been wanting that so bad. So I'm allowing myself a small snack as well or a treat, dessert, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, so look what I got, you guys. I have been needing a new straightener because my straightener is old. But this one, this is a baby bliss. This is probably one of the best straighteners that you can get. It, was, it ran me about... 130 i will link it in the description below but this straightener is so good so so good i highly recommend to get this straightener if you want a new straightener i know it's real random but it's really good i got this off of amazon this is a one inch ultra thin up to 450 ultra smooth the baby bliss pro this has been around for a really long time and i was on the edge about getting it and then the lady that i go to my hair for she had it and she uses it on my hair and i i just love it so i needed a new straightener but if y'all are looking for a new one this is really nice and i love that it's like so thin the color is pretty but i'll link it in the description below for y'all but yeah this is what i got in my package today my husband ordered it for me i always put it on my list that i never know when he orders stuff and it just randomly comes and i'm like yes <laughs> so i was really excited all right guys we are currently on our way to head to the place it is 10 30 it takes about 30 minutes to get there we went and picked up the little baby we got dion here you ready to eat dion yeah dion said he don't like sushi but i'm gonna make him try everything i don't care <laughs> i'm ready for it
All right, guys, we just got here. I'm so excited to go in and see what I'm gonna get. Y'all already know, I already looked at the menu before I came and looked at everything I wanted. I have like a whole list. We are here, where is it? It is a fusion Asian and sushi bar. It's called Akashi, Akashi Bar. And I'll link in the description below if y'all wanna know the address. I'll put the address in the description for y'all. There's Dion with the bay bay. <laughs> Wait, show him the baby. Oh yeah, that's the way he carries. Look at his little feet. He's tired. Okay. All right. We're the only ones in here. They just opened. This is the place. It looks really nice. They got a boat up there. Ooh. Okay, so here is their menu. I already kind of know what I want. They have a lunch menu, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. for lunch. They got bento boxes. They got lunch rolls. I'm gonna, I, I know I wanted the rock and roll, and I think they have like um, where you can get three of them all at once, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. They got desserts. Okay, I think it's just lunch right now. They have just a lunch menu. Hey, baby! I'm lying, they also have another menu. So that was just a lunch menu. So they have appetizers, they have noodles and rice, soups, the vegetables. Oh, they have mushu. I've been wanting to try mushu. It's like, it says, it's mushu on four pancakes. And basically it looks like a taco. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the appetizer. I'm gonna get some steam dumplings. They also have pan fried. And I think we're gonna get some calamari. Okay, so we just ordered some appetizers. We got, like I said, the steamed dumplings. You can also get them pan fried. And then we got the salt and pepper calamari and that's deep fried as well. They have egg rolls, they have spring rolls, they have all kinds of things. They have barbecue spare ribs, french fries, they had crab puffs. I almost grabbed crab puffs, but I wanted to try dumplings, just something different. I don't know why I've been craving dumplings. I think I've been seeing a lot of people post them lately and I've been wanting to try them. Um, and yeah, they have a lot of kinds of different, they even have shrimp, beef sticks, and all kinds of things. So really good appetizers. We're gonna start off with that first. Thank you. You Okay, so I did get a drink, but I got unsweetened tea because I don't want just a whole sugar filled tea. And I went ahead and just bought my own sweetener like I always do, just a little bit of stevia. And I'm gonna go ahead and just sweeten that up with this instead of just having real sugar all in here. Dion got water. <laughs> got my lemon. Can you give me a shot? Can you give me a shot? It's right here. Oh wait, yeah it is. Liquid stevia is just as good. It tastes like regular sweet tea. Okay y'all, our first appetizer came. We got the steamed dumplings and it came with a little sauce. Oh, we got the calamari. Oh, that looks so good. Thank you. We got our appetizer too. The other appetizer, we got the fried calamari, as jalapenos, onions, carrots. Oh, this looks so good. I'm sorry for this. Look at that. Okay, these dumplings, I'm gonna go ahead and give a try. So this looks like it just has green onions. It might just be soy sauce. I'm not honestly sure. Mm. Oh my God. This is my first bite of some non-keto food in a while. It has cabbage in there. Can't believe pork. You wanna try a dumpling? Dion's gonna try a dumpling. <laughs> he doesn't use the chopsticks. He's like, how do you eat the dumpling? <laughs> it's so good. You can also get them pan fried, but I like this too. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's good, right? I'm gonna get some of this calamari with the jalapeno. Get a little onion and uh, carrot. Mm. Mm. The jalapeno had a little kick to it. It's really good. Guys, I don't even know how to use chopsticks. I'm just acting like I do. I 
like to put lemon on my calamari. I'll put lemon on here. Yeah, it's really good. Dion said he likes the dumplings a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's because they have juice in them. Yeah, there's juice and meat in them, so calamari, lemon. Mm. I'm in heaven. <laughs> okay, so I ordered some sushi. I went ahead and got the C7 roll combo, and it comes with three different ones. So it comes with a rock and roll, a spider roll, and a crazy roll, and then I'll let y'all know what they have in there. So Dion got some egg drop soup, and I'm just gonna try a little bit because honestly, I haven't had this in a really long time. Me and my mom used to love eating this growing up, and we would put like the little crunchies on top. It's pretty hot though. Oh, it's so good. Wait, it's actually like on a rainy day. Mm. They're really good. I'm just waiting for you to eat it so I can zoom in. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna eat this all by myself. Thank you. Baby, we'll help you. <laughs> Dion's food. Dion, what'd you get? Egg roll. Egg roll, orange chicken. He got fried rice and it has a sauce. Uh, I don't know this is. And this is my sushi. I'm so excited. I got the wasabi, ginger. I need some soy sauce, but we got some shrimp in here. We got the mayo, the spicy mayo sauce, and I'll tell y'all what's in them. Dion wants me to try the egg roll. Okay, so I like to take my wasabi, put it in my bowl, take some soy sauce. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna try is the, the rock and roll. So it has shrimp, tempura, cucumber, snow crab, and spicy mayo with the eel sauce. And this is gonna be this one right here. Go ahead and dip it in here. Oh my god. Okay. It's really good, thank you. Okay, next I got, what is it, a spider roll? So it has, the spider roll has soft shell crab, cucumber, and eel sauce. And this is what this one looks like. Ooh, so excited. Guys, I can eat this all day. Dion's gonna try the like rock and roll. Yeah. Mm. I told you. Is that your first time trying sushi? No. I've no, you've had it. Never had a place. Usually at Kroger. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Kroger H E B. <laughs> I'm gonna try some of Dion's orange chicken. It has like a little smokiness to it, it's really good. Okay, so next I got a crazy roll. It has spicy tuna and shrimp tempura and soy pepper eel sauce with a spicy meal. This is the way this one looks. Ooh, that looks so good. Mm. Try that one. That was your favorite? Dion likes the uh, the crazy roll with the tuna. I know. <laughs> I'm struggling to eat with it. No, this is ginger. It's like real fresh. It's really good. So I like to put ginger on top of mine. So ginger is supposed to be like a cleansing palette between sushi. But I like it with it. So you can taste it a little bit? No, really good curry with ginger. That's why I like to mix it with soy sauce. And it, it just adds like a little kick to it. Yeah, it's 
so good. I really like this tuna one. This is probably, it's like, it has like a little sweetness to it. You want another one? You can get another one. I haven't had fried rice and fried rice, so I'm stealing from Dion. Because I don't want to eat a whole plate. Mm. It does like lemon to it, huh? It's really good. There's a lot of people getting here. They're probably looking at me like this crazy lady's eating from the camera. almost finishes. He said he's full. <laughs> Dion had to go to the restroom, but I'm gonna feed the baby some rice, see if he likes it. Is it good? It's just a piece of white tuna fish with some um, white rice. Go ahead and dip it in my sauce. Mm. You gotta have the sauce there. It gives it a little kick. That's really good. Really? <laughs> I want it in this. It's good, right? Really good. I don't know, you look like you're struggling over there. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, I've tried eel before, but I tried it mixed in something. So I'm kind of nervous, but we're gonna go in. So it's a piece of eel with white rice as well. Oh, that's like really good. Here, wait on. That's sweet. Good, right? First time trying eel. Yeah, it's really good. That's my mom's favorite. That's really good. Okay, one more piece because honestly, I'm kind of full. Cool. Okay, so last one, we got the spicy scallops, and then it has a white rice at the bottom with the, paper, the seaweed paper. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's spicy. I will skip that one. No. Mm -hmm. I can add spice to it. You gotta mix it. No, it's not spicy like that. I can taste you gotta, it. No. You gotta have it with the white rice at the bottom. The white rice cancels out the spicy and then it hits you with the sweet. It's really good. He hates spicy. I think that was my favorite though. Well, overly spicy. A little chewier. Yeah, it's a little chewy. It's really good. I don't like spicy to pull work. <laughs> How'd you like that one? Good. All right, y'all. I got my fix. Everything was so good. I got the bill. I don't want to look. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. I only paid fifty-five dollars for all that sushi. <laughs> all right, guys. I ate so good. I'm slightly full, but honestly, like sushi doesn't put me overly full, so I feel pretty good. 
um so far so good i don't feel like funny or anything i feel a little like carb light i don't know how to explain that like you get a little tingling in your body but other than that i'm pretty good like if i would have yeah like a little buzz or something like i don't know how to explain it if i would have had like sweet tea i probably would have been like on a sugar high <laughs> but right now we are actually headed off to his mom's house real quick we got to make a few stops but i got a little fortune cookie i want to read my fortune open it Let's open up our fortune cookie. I haven't had one of these in so long. I remember a long time ago, I tried to make fortune cookies. That was a disaster. It says, to forgive others one more time is to create one more blessing for yourself. Oh, that's cute. Little fortune. Let me try this. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Mm. But it's, so good. it's raining now. And while we were here, they canceled school for tomorrow for the kids since they're going to be a tropical storm. I'm nervous. Nicholas. Nicholas, tropical storm. HEB. There's a lot of people here um, because of the tropical storm coming tomorrow, but I needed to come just get a few things really quickly um, that I didn't get to grab throughout the week. And I'm gonna, I'll, hopefully, I can do a video tomorrow on this recipe, um, depending on how like the lights are doing, the electricity over here with the storm and stuff. But I did not want to grab some stuff and, and then I'm able to do a video tomorrow, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just had to come really quickly before I go pick up my kids from school. I stopped by my in-laws really fast. I was talking to them, dropped off Dion. So we just got to run a few errands before I go pick up my boys. So let's head on into HEB. And so far, so good. I know you're going to ask how I feel after the sushi and stuff. I feel good. I feel a little bloated, of course. That's why we wore our stretchy pants. <laughs> But I feel really good, like really good. I have no side effects, nothing. I don't feel like nauseous or lightheaded, like none of that. I feel really good, so awesome. my few items that I need to pick up so my son his chocolate milk I grabbed him his SpaghettiOs because I don't know how but I ran out of SpaghettiOs so I had to come get some really quickly before it starts storming so he can eat that because the kids are gonna be off from school tomorrow all right y'all so I went to go pick up my kids from school and since it's raining, me and my boys, we want to relax and have a movie night. So since we're gonna have a movie night, I am heading to Sonic. I am like not hungry hungry, but I want ice cream so bad guys. So me and my kids are gonna have a movie night. I'm gonna go get them some corn dogs from Sonic. I'm more than likely probably gonna get a grilled cheese and a small tater tot because I haven't had one in so long and I've been wanting to try their banana ice cream what is it like a banana the ones with the wafers in it I think they have I'm gonna get a small and me and my boys are gonna have a movie night and I'm gonna treat myself and we're gonna eat some snacks and hang out because I haven't had a movie night with my boys in a really long time and they don't have school tomorrow it's a rainy day and we might as well enjoy it so let's head to Sonic <laughs> just put up to sonic i haven't ate here in like i don't know how long but hopefully it's good still you guys they didn't have the banana one anymore it's okay i got a mini um a mini oreo cheesecake master shake 
that sounds so good right now and then i got a small chili cheese tot i was gonna get a grilled cheese but i was like you know what no i don't eat the bread so i'll just eat the chili cheese tot and the ice cream and i am satisfied for my treat meals today i'm excited and then i got the boys some um corn dogs they love corn dogs from sonic who doesn't right and yeah i'm gonna go back home and we are going to relax and let's see what movie they choose to watch tonight all right, y'all, I'm back home. I sat my boys down. We're about to sit down, relax, and watch a movie. I got my last treat myself, little treats today, and this is all I'm having. I got a mini, um, what did I say, the Oreo Cheesecake Master Shake, a mini one, and then I got a small little chili cheese tater tots. Guys, I haven't had these in so long, and yeah, I'm about to sit down and enjoy them. We're gonna watch a Disney movie. The boys are already munching out. I'm about to make them some popcorn here in a bit and we're gonna relax. The boys are watching the Disney movie Luca. It's a key, I actually haven't like um, seen it completely all. Every time they watch it, I kind of just skim it, but it looks like a cute little Disney movie. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of these chili cheese tots. Hopefully they're as good as I remember. Yup. Yup. They're as good as I remember. <laughs> I think Sonic always has like the best guilt, guilty like fried foods. Mm. You guys, you're so good. I did get a small, right? That's what counts. <laughs> mm, they're so good. I won't lie to you. I might feel a little funny after having this shake only because it has sugar. But it's so good. Mm. I think Sonic always has like the best whipped cream on top. But I think their mini size is actually a pretty good size. It's really good. I love the little golden grams on top. Golden grams are like my all-time favorite cereal. Cereal. Like when I would eat cereal, golden grams would always be my go-to. They're so good. I don't know a lot of people that love golden grams, but I do. <laughs> You guys, my son right now, he was like, Mom, why are you eating ice cream? <laughs> He's like, do you like that? <laughs> they, I don't think they've ever really, like, I don't know. I don't remember the last time I made ice cream. I don't think they really, I didn't think they pay attention like that. It's funny. He's like, why are you eating that? <laughs> it's so funny. Is it good, Daddy? They ate the corn. Look at Byron over there eating a corn dog. <laughs> Bashi ate his grilled cheese that's over there. Was it good, baby? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. I ate half of it. Not even gonna lie. I can't eat no more. That satisfied my treat really, really good. And I am good for today. I'm about to drink a lot of water. Remember to stay hydrated if you are having your treat yourself day. I highly recommend to stay hydrated. You definitely need the water intake. All right, guys, so earlier me and my kids watched a movie. It was, like, really nice to just sit down and relax with them because I honestly have not done it in quite a while. Like, ever since my husband's been out of town from work, I am just always on the go, getting stuff done, getting the kids ready for school, doing what I have to do, and it's been a little bit since I've been able to sit down and actually enjoy a movie with them, like, honestly. So it was really nice. We relaxed. Just watched the movie it was a really cute movie um so i ate half of that ice cream i thought i was gonna feel funny guys i feel great you know what i think it is i think it's because i have my cyclical keto carb up days on mondays and i think since i do have like healthy carbs i don't think it affects me as bad i thought the sugar would but i only ate half of that ice cream i gave the other half to my son and it didn't really like affect me at all the tater tots were really good the, I just feel really full. I feel bloated, of course, not gonna lie about that. I feel a little heavy, but I'm drinking my water tomorrow, right back to keto. I go straight into keto, straight, strictly keto. That's it, I stay hydrated. Honestly, sometimes I kind of fast the next day. Um, depending if I do a video tomorrow, sometimes I can't really fast because I try the foods on camera. But more than likely, I probably won't really eat that much tomorrow um, just because I stay full like the next day. 
you don't you're not used to having all those carbs and you stay full for a while so more than likely i'll probably just fast drink some water but if you do have a treat yourself day like i do just go straight back into keto the next day and you will be fine stay hydrated but i had an awesome day i really enjoyed my day the sushi was absolutely amazing i love sushi love it right i can have that all the time and then I had my little treat, so it was really nice. And thank y'all so much for all the support. I almost felt guilty to where I was like, should I even have a treat myself day? But I should. We should not treat food like if it's bad, because it's not. We have to treat ourselves every once in a while, especially when you have come so long on your journey like I have, and it felt really good to treat myself. So once a month, I will be doing that, and I will be enjoying the foods that I want to enjoy while I'm still living the lifestyle that I want to live. So I'm excited, but I had a really good day, and I really hope y'all enjoyed all that eating. <laughs> And if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, guys. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Right now, I am about to hit my workout. I'm still going to work out. I am um, doing a 30-day ab challenge. If y'all would like to know more about that, I'll update y'all on my next What I Eat in a Day video. I'm just doing it for myself. I have like a little ab machine. So I'm still gonna work out. I'm still gonna burn off some of these carbs. I mean carbs, yeah. And yeah, so y'all have a safe week and hopefully this tropical storm ain't too bad tomorrow. Cross my fingers. Bye guys.